Hello again guys, this is Segef with Frontline Tactic and playing more Kenshi. Um, if you guys saw my twit on my Twitter, um, I stated that I was going to log on when I got home tonight and here I am, fresh out of work, and I uh, decided to uh, play a little Kenshi and uh, talk a little bit about some of the patch notes and such that I read um, that he has planned coming out. Uh, as you see back here, I decided to make an ore mine so I can maybe try to get some ore going and get uh, start making some weapons or something. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, so as it stands right now, you can't make armor or clothing. I did not know that when I first started going into this. I thought it, you know, all the crafting for the most part was set up, but it's not yet. So that's one of the things you gotta look forward to is clothing and in the new clothing that uh, he is scripted he is going to be um, doing new textures and everything so he's revamping the the male model and there will be hair and other stuff I don't know if this patch is actually live um, I got my account via Steam, so maybe the, the Steam update's not there, or if you bought it directly from his website if the update is already been implemented. Like I said, I do not know. 100%. But it does look like good stuff. So male models are going to upgrade. It's going to be ha uh, hair, uh, new clothing texture, new clothing, new armor, um, how it fits on the body. So this is all things that is looking good and interesting uh, as well as he was talking about uh, next part of the next major things that he wants to do is add female models which he says that he wanted to get the males all out of the way first for the fact that he, to do the female models you have to do basically double um, rendering and texturing and fitting of all and any items so he wanted to get the male models done first. It looks good for, well, we're already used to the male models, and then, you know, work on the female models and work those in. And so with that, he was stating that some of the older gear, um, clothing and stuff, he wants uh, to understand the, the idea that some of these textures are not going to be around anymore. And so that there's going to be textures that well aren't going to be worked and so there's some clothing once the patches comes out it's just not going to work anymore and so he was given the heads up on that that you may when this patch happens is slowly swap out all your gear and for the new stuff because it'll fit and look good well the older stuff will actually get phased out and won't drop anymore so you might as well so it won't fit and won't drop anymore so you might as well just sell it so yeah Another thing I was, um, he was talking about is adding more different terrain types. So like right now it is just desert and mountainous and he wants to add others. He didn't mention what he wanted to put, but I'm guessing kind of a forest or various things like that. Um, not sure how that's going to do for some of us with not top end gear rigs. Um, if that's just going to eat up my frame rate or whatnot because I could hardly handle the sagebrush that was being loaded, so I had to knock that down. But still kind of excited to see different biomes, so to speak, of terrain. What else was it that I was reading? Oh, music! Hopefully music and sound effects will be coming in soon. Um, uh, combat alerts, I guess, was one of the other things he was digging in about, and that was something I was looking for is that I would like to, to see one of these guys like tint red or get a red highlight you know the portraits down here would be nice that way you can um, tell what guys are being attacked if you tell them to do a task and you're like not paying attention like um, what was going on with me where I'd go to the town and then like you know I'd go be clear over on this ridge over here and over here there's bandits being you know attacking me and I didn't know if it wasn't for me being paranoid type and tapping through all my citizens uh, more juice yes yummy 
So that was one of the things I was kind of thinking of and I was reading through some of the patch like stuff that he was, you know, like future content that he wants to do. I thought that was awesome. Um, he didn't really clarify or didn't really see clarify um, what he was talking about with the revamping of the faction system. But I did like what he was talking about where he wanted to make faction based clothing more important. So say if you kill uh, the Holy Empire, which wears specific clothing and another Holy Empire sees you and you're not part of the Holy Empire, he's going to be like, WTF, mate, uh, where'd you get that armor? Where'd you get that coat? And so that's where he was wanting to do it. But on the flip side, because not all the class and the roles and the abilities are all in the game yet, he wanted to focus on thievery and assassinations, things like that, that you can actually get these clothings as a disguise to better do your job. And I thought, wow, that was super innovative and cool. Um, it was just, yeah, it just blew my mind that he even thought about that. And so that's also going to be a thing. But for the most part, that's all the patch stuff that I really remember seeing. Um, But I, I started thinking, I'm like, again, I'm not going to be looking at any of the progression rule and stuff like that of the game. And so I started thinking, it's like, well, how can you have reinforced concrete or slash reinforced cement walls for military appara uh, operations or, you know, just general things like that? And I was like, oh, my gosh, you need steel. You need to do that so you can put the rebar in the, the, the mix and strengthens the concrete. So I was like, oh, that's what I'm missing. I'm missing an ore mine. So I'm going to start getting ore. Um, get our research bench for there going. Um, so yeah, that was something that um, I was like, oh, duh, stupid. Gotta do... Um, gotta make... Uh... <sighs> sorry, yeah, sorry, my brain is fried. Yeah, I gotta get steel bars and whatnot to probably reinforce, and so I can build a wall. And once I build a wall, I'm gonna be so ecstatic. Whoa, what are you doing there? Huh, awesome. Why don't you put it in... Can I build an ore storage right there? Oh well, whatever. It's gonna, they're gonna do their thing. So that's another thing is I will, I will and should venture out to go and, um, do another merchant run where I get another uh, mercenary. So I got a little more hands. Which will speed things up. Let's knock that down. Put that there. So we have stone refine or stone mine. So we can be more efficient at doing that. So that's one of the few things I can. So yeah, that's kind of a quick little war, uh, look at uh, what my what my idea is. Um, gonna get the steel bars and possibly, hopefully be able to build some walls. So, yep, yep. So, yep, there we go. That's pretty much the basis and some of the news that I'm able to read and find out. Um, but, yeah, if you're interested in this and you like what you see, Please, please, show your support and uh, pick up Kenshi. There's a couple different uh, uh, economic brackets that you can kind of fill in for. One of them is like, you know, just buy the game for 13, 16 bucks. All right, I think I paid 16 bucks. So, you know, just do that. Uh, another thing that I did was uh, notice the... 
there's 45 where you get your name in the credits. There's like 75 where you get the name character and name in the credits. And so there's a bunch of stuff like that. And I wish I had more capital. I would totally invest in like, I, I, I don't know if I would do the 45 or the 75. I'm kind of leaning towards the 75. You know, if money wasn't an option. And, well, there's even a thousand dollar one, which is pretty awesome, where you can, like, name a city or a faction. I don't know, it's got kind of bonkers. But, I, to me personally, I think I would lean on trying to get, um, like, the 75 one. Get a special character named after you or something, or it would be cool to have a small band of fa family or something, you know, like the last name. A little hillbilly family li living out in the sticks, randomly generated somewhere in the world. Um, also doing, you know, a, I don't know how well this guy's AI is, but I don't know. Something like that would be cool. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it that I wanted to share with you guys now. Um, otherwise, it would just be kind of a let's play if I recorded any more. And I'm not really wanting to do a let's play per se. I mean, sometimes it is I can, well, kind of what I do is a let's play. But I kind of want to just share of how I play. Um, which, essentially, in all shape and definition that is a let's play so i'm just hell just talking in circles apparently to myself and that's you know that's work what work has done to me it is it is a uh, claim to my brain so um i think i'm gonna end the video here um have some fun see what you can do i have no idea what my two workers here are doing Yeah, they're acting the retarded sometimes. Apparently that's a symptom of something. I don't know. So I'm going to go back to working on my work. So, hopefully all is well there. Let's see, is there any bandits nearby? Nope, I don't see one. But, as soon as I can make a, a gate and a wall, I think that's what I'm going to go do. Is go close off that that area. Actually, no, probably first what I'm going to do is close off around this place. So I constantly don't have to worry about being attacked. And I should have planned out my <laughs> my layout a bit better. Otherwise, it looks kind of, kind of ghetto rigged. Oh, well. But that's what you do in the, the grim, dark future is uh, ghetto rigging. Well, current efficiency 75%. Mm, I'm underpowered. That's not good. Hmm. Need to build another windmill, I think. better just to build a generator it looks like so yeah I'll go set up and build a generator well, thank you guys for sitting through this with me. Um, I'll do another update video a bit later. Um, next time I kind of, you know, jump forward. So I'm going to play for a little bit. And then sometime later if there's any new content or I made any significant progress in my township, I will share it with you. Till then, uh, have fun and uh, watch out for sand ninjas. Alright.